Hey everyone, how's it going? Hopefully you can see me in here. So, I just finished painting uh, this picture a couple minutes ago. And um, I'll show you how I did it. Stick around and uh, enjoy the show. Thanks. All right, so we're back. Hi, everyone. <clears throat> so today we're going to start with a black background. And uh, this is a gesso product, or it's called gesso, and it's an acrylic-based product. You put that on first, and you spread it out evenly over the entire canvas. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, you let that dry for about 30 to 45 minutes. I did it the day before, but if you're doing it in the same day. And then what I went, went and did is I, uh, I took, a, uh, I took a, um, a medium called Liquid Clear, once again a Bob Ross product, and uh, I spread it through throughout the entire canvas, over the entire canvas, over the surface. Very important, very, very, very thin. I can't express that enough. This stuff is, uh, yeah, it can be tricky. Um, then I took a paper towel and I wiped over top of that, made sure it's even. And then I took and put a base coat. You can't see it because it's a transparent color. And I put, um, uh, straight Prussian blue all over the entire canvas. And, uh, let's see what happens. So this is the effect I was talking about in my, uh, video about what you're going to need to start. Um, we're going to take a opaque or an opaque color that would be your white here your titanium white it would be better said and we're going to create ourselves nice and even on the paintbrush as you can see and we're going to start by creating a light spot in the sky where our light source is coming from i want to put it here as you can see, when you apply it, once again, using your X strokes, you create this cool effect because the blue that is already on there now shines through. So go ahead and make your crisscross strokes starting out from the middle, going outwards. And look at this gorgeous effect it makes. Of course, when you go outward, the light source is not as intense. Therefore, you get these cool effects. Just kind of want to lighten the whole sky here a little bit. Make sure this is all, yes, everything is as planned so far. Maybe hopefully this time the video quality will be a little better. Maybe you can see a little better as to what I'm doing. <clears throat> I looked at a couple of softwares. Let's see if I can find anything that's a little better. So I'm going to stand back and see what we got here. All right. Let's put a little more in there. Go back into your white. I'm afraid to pull it out a little bit. Go back into your bright spot and work your way outwards again. Very important to make sure you do that. Once again, crisscross strokes. down a little bit more just realized I'm 
fading into the darkness of the night. <laughs> Sounds like some type of poem from the 1800s. If only I can name one for you. What about Edgar Allan Poe? Poetry, poetrist, whatever, short story writer. Poetrist, is that the right, right word? Poet, I think it is. Poetrist. I should get my head inspected after saying that. Now I'm going to take a clean two inch brush and I'm going to fade this out. I got some of those streaks in there, some of the lines. This will give your arm a workout. Oh, painting is for men and women with no upper body strength. That ain't true. By the time you get done with this style of painting, you will have the physique of a tennis player. One big strong arm and another one that looks like it holds something the entire time. Let's take a look at that. Not bad. I'm gonna put a little more white in there. I want it to be a little bit brighter. Excuse me. I always seem to do that. I'll show you guys how I'm loading this. This brush again. Pay it out a little more. Phew, my arm is getting tired. If only I were ambidextrous. That's the word of the day. Ambidextrous. Something in the middle there, take that out. Came back again. I'm gonna do something a little different here, I have an idea. Don't know if it's gonna work. I'm going to take a little bit of this white and I'm going to make a sheen of light going across just in case we make some water. Let's see what happens here. Trying to make sure this is straight. Observe that it's, um, be sure once again that you're going straight, not observe, but also make sure that you're kind of following the, the concept of perspective, that it gets smaller as it goes back. Just a little bit more. Matter of fact, let's fade that a little bit first. Let's blend that a little bit first. Let's 
a little more in there. Let's, let's make it a little more intense. Crooked. <laughs> That's what happens when I have to stand off to the side, I guess. It's a little crooked. Just try to straighten it up. Try this again. Let's see what happens. Step back, take a look. That's better. Like I said, I've never painted that before. Let's go ahead and try things. What is it? What's the big deal? Well, you never know unless you try, right? And if not, if it doesn't work out the way I want it to, I can always just go back and color, cover it up. I'll fade this out into darkness here. Same with this side. That's pretty cool. I turned out better than I thought it would. Now, we're gonna have some fun. I'm going to take, see if I can find it. I don't know if I wanna use that one. Let's see, can I have a white one? <laughs> Let's take a filber brush. Take this one and let's make some clouds. Let's have some fun with some clouds today. I'm gonna load it up a little bit. Well, actually, excuse me, I skipped a step. First thing I want to do, let me pull this down a little bit, is I want to make a moon here. So, what you do is very simple. You're going to go back to kindergarten here and do some finger painting. Take your pointer finger, make a little circle here, and then you just want to put it in the middle of the light source, apply it, and make a circle. Try to make the circle round as you can. Some more. Take a step back. Pretty interesting. I like that. I like I like that. I'm gonna take a clean brush this time, something clean. And I'm going to fade that out a little bit <clears throat> so it's not so intense. Just kind of slightly go over it. So the edges are not so prevalent. All right, let's, let me take a look, see. Yeah, we could deal with that. All right. Back to where I started, gonna get myself 
Things called a filbert brush. And I'm gonna paint some clouds today. I'm gonna start and see which way do I wanna go. I'm gonna start from the outside and work my way in. So let me thaw that out a little bit. Clouds are one of my favorite things to paint. They're also, for me, one of the most difficult because, yeah, I don't know. Just, I, they've troubled me for a long time. Every time I've tried clouds over the years I've been painting, they tend to give me trouble sometimes. And I've tried many, many different things. But I found out the best way is just to kind of just do it. Just put them up there and just keep going at it. Keep attacking it. And keep working on it. And I have it go right off the right off the canvas. This one too, right off the canvas. See how it just float up there in the sky? It's so uh, so awesome the story that came to my head. I know it's kind of corny, but the more you guys get to know me, the more you realize it's not corny, it's just me. <laughs> I'm a corny fellow. So let's see. I don't even know what I want to do next here. I don't know if I want to fade that out. Let's fade out the bottom. It seems to be the right thing in my mind. I'm going to set this palette down. I'm going to grab my paper towels, which I might have to go get some more. Fade out the bottom. Kind of blend it into the sky. So as you can see, when you put the white on, the blue just comes out. And depending on how much white you put on, that depends on how much the blue comes out. So you control the intensity, which is why I it's probably my favorite way to painting. And you can do this with many colors. I haven't tried it with the uh, alizarin crimson yet, but I think one day I will soon. All right, I like that. I'm gonna take and make that J shape I was talking about in the last, fluff it up. Get your little tops going here. Let's sweep across slightly to set it into the painting. Let's take a step back. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. <laughs> We're patting myself on the back a lot, I know, but sometimes I surprise myself, to be honest with you. All right, loading the paintbrush back up again. I'm gonna come right in front of this cloud and add some more. Clouds are individual, just like all the rest of the paintings you do. They're very individual to you. And that's like the best part. I mean, you like every, there's no painting that's the same, not even close. Just like there's no music that's the same. It's like there's no person that's the same. The fingerprints that are the same. The cops will tell you that one. There's no painting that's the same. And that's, that's what I like about it. Just the individuality of it. And just go out and try this. And you'll see that you can do a lot more than you think you can. You'll surprise yourself. And isn't that just great? <laughs> All right. I think I like painting clouds with this filbert brush. Turns out pretty good. If 
I can only get my stuff to stay still without rolling off into the floor, that would be a, an accomplishment in itself. So once again, we're going to take the brush. I'm going to fade out the bottom using just a corner of the brush. Try not to touch the tops. Yeah, when you're painting clouds, make sure you leave some holes in here, some lighter spots, some darker spots. And the cool thing about this style is that you can just go through and just, like I said, just take some paint, whatever you want, like the white paint, excuse me, not just some paint, but the white paint, and you can just highlight it. Like right now, just kind of touching it in there a little bit. I want to keep some of that randomness going in there. And like, uh, like I said, you can just go right back through and you'd be amazed how it turn, just it'll just turn into something completely different than what you want. So. Don't try to plan it too much because you, you, you'll, you, you won't get the effects that you want and you just generally won't be as happy about it as you want. Some, sometimes the best things in life are a surprise. Right, once again, we did our up sweep and we set it into the painting. Once again, I'm going to take a little step back and look at that. <clears throat> cool. So I think we're going to come in from the other side now. I'm going to try my best not to block the view, but I got to be able to see. I'm sorry if there's a glare on here. I'm still working on it. Let me take a look at it actually. Let's see. It's not too bad. Trying to work on the lighting, amongst other things. I'm new and I'm new at this, as you probably know, if you haven't figured out by now. As you can see, I'm just putting the color on there. Just, I'm basically thinking about the top shape when I do this. It's a little bit heavy on the way. Who cares? Once again, sometimes that's the best part of it. So, I'm going to go ahead and clean, not clean, but I'm going to fade out my edges here. Once again, not touching the tops. I don't know if I said once or once. Every time I seem to get on the camera, my mouth seems to do what it wants to do. Okay. Clean off the brush again. We're gonna make our sweeping motion. Then we're gonna set it into the painting. Take a step back. This turned out pretty good too. All right, let's go ahead and put another layer on here. Let's have some coming down from the top. I think I just found my new cloud brush. I like this one. That we got going on here. All right. Let's go ahead and fade that one already. Let's go ahead and brush out the bottom of this one already. Just a little bit, a little bit. Sweeping up and lightly brushing across. Let's go ahead and go here a little bit. A 
trying to make sure when you put the next layer on they kind of come up into the former layer don't leave don't leave a big gap come up into it a little bit and leave a little gap it gives it that cool effect you're looking for of the one being in front of the other and therefore depth Well, my palette only have white and blue at the moment. Let's see what happens. I don't know. Not planning this one out so much today. I was sitting there last night thinking, oh, well, if you're going to paint today, what would you want to paint? And I just, I don't know, kept drawing a blank. Let's go ahead and brighten this up a little bit here. Getting closer to the moon there. All right, let's go ahead and fade out the bottom. I'm gonna use a different brush because it's so small here that I wanna make sure I get the details right. And I can just take it and brush back through this whole part. Do something a little different here. Let's see how that looks. Too happy with that, so I'll fix that a little bit. Yeah, that looks better. Take our big brush again, clean it off on the paper towel. We're gonna go ahead, sweep it up, and set it in. Okay. Ah, oh, let me take a look. See. Hmm. Let's get a little bit more clouds. Don't know. Oh, you know what I want to start from? Doesn't matter. No more white paint. Maybe randomize your movements. I don't know. Let's see. Let's try fading that out. Get this brush, clean it off again. Fading out the bottom, once again. I like doing clouds, as you can tell. It takes up most of my video time. <laughs> but maybe this time, you guys will be able to see it a little better. Working on this, like I was saying in my introduction video, I'm not tech savvy. Where everyone else is like, yeah, you just use fucking, excuse me, wrong word. You just use this goddamn, maybe that's not the right word either. The software here and then, well, come on, Tom, get with it. And I'm just like, man, I don't do that stuff. I'm how to write a joke and how to write a song. May not be the best song, may not be the best joke, but I know how to do them. <laughs> and paintings, I don't know. I've, it's not paintings, but uh, and how to record those paintings or how to record those songs or how to record those jokes. That's where I need help. Once again, we're just kind of coming in front of this one. Just kind of just putting a little layer, layer of clouds down. Okay. Trying to make sure I leave some holes. Leave some thicker spots, some thinner spots. So I'm going to take the brush again. And once again, you guessed it. 
we are going to be fading out the bottoms going into the cloud a little bit, not too much. Clean it off. Let me go in here a little bit. It looks a little wonky to me. Just slightly, slightly touching. through here. I don't know if I want to touch that. Let's see. La la la. <laughs> it's kind of fun that we're both, or all, both. I don't know how many people are going to end up watching this. Let's say to be on the conservative side, both of us. We're going into the unknown on this one. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I don't really care so much. Once again, it's not about that. All right. <clears throat> Let me work this out over here a little bit. Do, 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 do. My hair, take it off. Got my hair popping up into the angle. There we go. some very slight indications of some clouds through here. I thought that was a cool idea that all of a sudden came to me. Didn't blend out the bottom of these ones. Go ahead and do that real quick. Kind of come in here and Now what do I do? Questions, questions, questions. I think I'm going to take some burnt sienna. I just applied some. I'm going to take a little bit of Van Dyke, excuse me, where are you at? A little bit of Van Dyke Brown. Apply it to my palette. I'm gonna get my old trusty palette knife wherever I 
it's hidden itself. There it is. I'm gonna take and grab some of that brand egg brown. It's a fresh tube. I'm gonna put it here. Take a little bit of the blue and a little bit of that burnt sienna. A little too dark for me. Let's grab a little bit more of the burnt sienna. A little bit of white to brighten it up a little bit. It's a little too dark for me. Maybe we'll separate it out. Put it here. More of this. More of that. Let's see what that does. That's better. That one was just simply too dark for me. Pull it out flat. Grab a little bit. And... I'm going to try to make a perspective of a mountain. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to come right here. Draw a little bit of a mountain. Draw, paint a little bit of a mountain. Going off into the distance. And as we come forward, we're going to make it a little bit bigger. It's a lot of paint on here. some of that off. <clears throat> Pardon me for a moment. Try my best to take some of this off of here. Some old paper tiles and wipe it off. There we go. Yeah, should I put it on with a brush maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Step back and look at the perspective I got going on here. Pretty interesting. Let's see. Hope I'm not blocking the camera too much. Sorry. Kind of making my mind up as I go. I know a lot of people have paintings in front of them that they go off of. I, I, I don't really do that so much. Maybe one day I will. But I don't do that. I, I kind of like it to come out of my head. I don't know. It's more fun. It's kind of like when you're doing stand-up and you have this written material. And then all of a sudden, while in the middle of the material... You see something, you think something, and all of a sudden you riff something and it becomes a monster bit. And I enjoy that process a lot more than being completely prepared for what I'm about to say. I don't know if that is understandable, but anybody who has dabbled in stand-up is exactly what I'm talking about. Dabbled. Look at me over here pontificating. So, get these mountains good. 
try to fade it out in the bottom here. Let's see how much fun that's going to be. Let me, let me better, get my brush and wipe this off. So in this painting, it's a little bit different. The light is coming from the middle. Excuse me, I think actually both of my former paintings have been the light coming from the middle. But this one is kind of important because we're also doing a bit of a perspective painting. Try to fade this out, fade it out, cross, 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 cross. And when you're doing a perspective painting, like I said just a second ago, it gets a little bit of trees up here. It's a little tricky. Perspective it back. Perspective it back. You make it go back. And you do everything accordingly in the same way as you do the other side. So the light will come from this side and the light will come from this side. So let's go ahead and mix a little bit of super dark color that I made without trying. Put some white in there. Let's see what comes out of that. Actually, I like that. Let's see. Go ahead and put a little bit on your knife. And we're going to take that soft move that I've been talking about. And we're going to come down and paint some highlights on here. Very soft, delicate touch. Get a little more white. Go back and touch those up a little bit. Now, as you come forward, you want the gaps in between <clears throat> your highlights to be bigger. Once again, perspective. Take a look, see, pretty cool. Let's make a dark color, take a little bit of the blue, put it in that, let's see, let's take blue and some of this color that I used to make the mountain with. A little bit of the highlight color. And we're coming the opposite directions. Observing the angles once again as you did when you did the highlights. Once again, I'm sorry if I'm blocking with my ginormous head, which I put a baseball cap on today to not distract you. <laughs> You can also use the other edge of the knife. You have the big edge and you have a small edge up here. So you can just take the small edge, do the same thing. If you have any issues getting in here, which I am. Let's go ahead and paint this part out. Let's 
make another mountain peak there. Didn't quite get it the way I wanted here. Like I said, if you see something you don't like, change it. Try to stay true to that perspective. Highlight. Clean off the knife. Let's get, make sure we get some highlights on here. shadow in here. Okay, step back. Okay, that's better. So this side oh, I think I'm going to do something else I don't know though it'd be kind of cool to do the same thing like that hmm take a look I don't know just down new man hell with it I'm going to do the same thing Let's see, what was that? Brown, blue, and this. Let's get all the rest of it and pick it up. Let's do it again. Try to make sure you stay at the same level. You create your mountains again. Maybe I can do like a like a faded one back here. Just brush these out really good. Let's see what happens. It's pretty cool. Let's take this. We got a paint. I got a paintbrush. I got a paintbrush. Let me get myself some paper towels again. This out. Wipe off the excess, wipe off the excess. Hmm. Oh, that would work or not. I have an idea. I'm kind of afraid every time I say I have an idea that it might not work out, and you guys are like, who's with this? What is with this fella? Let's see. Let's go like that.
faded into the clouds a little bit here. Let's take a step back. Weird. Right. I'm just gonna try it. If it doesn't work, then like I said, you can always cover it up with something else. And that happens a lot more often than painters would like to tell you. Don't believe all the hype, they all make mistakes. And you will too, but it's not something that should hold you back from doing this. Hell and the bejesus did that get in there? Found a, found a hair. I don't even have any hair. Separate, separate. Just going back through and changing it. Seeing something I didn't want, you change it. Very simple. No fuss, no muss. Just go back and change it. All right. Just wasn't happy with it. <clears throat> if you ain't happy with it, once again, change it. Broken record. Okay, let me sure I put a little bit of shadow on the back sides of these. I'll take my small side again. Let's go ahead and take something very soft here. Let's see. It's pretty soft. We're going to take and tap into this white. And we're going to take these clouds and see if I can make a misty effect coming down. That's what I seen when I said I saw something. It wasn't Bigfoot over here or something. It wasn't I was, oh, there's Bigfoot. It wasn't like that. It was more like uh, <laughs> maybe I can do something I haven't really done yet. Don't be afraid. To try something different. That's what we're all doing right now. If you're painting along with me, you are trying something different. Excuse me. Make it a little misty through here. Take just a, a little couple hair brushes there. Got some like clouds coming through there between the mountains. It's not too bad. Let's go ahead and let's paint another one here, here. something majestic, majestic. Let's see, let's paint the back side here.
scrape off some of that cloud today. I can just put all that mist in there. So we're going to do it anyway. Before I do that, let me feed out this. Oh, oopsie daisy. Clean, clean, clean. Fit out the bottom of this a little bit. It's a little rough around the edges. All right, let me go through and paint some trees in there. Let me get some sap green. Where are you at? Oops. That's right, folks. It gets real. <laughs> sure. I'm step on that. Dropped all my paints on the floor. No big deal. So what? All right. Uh, green. Let's take a little bit of this brown. A little green. A little bit of this brown. More brown here, a little bit more green. Let's see what that looks like under the white. A too brown for me, a little bit more green. Check it again. Okay, let's go with that. Let's take this brush that I was using and let's paint some trees back here. We're going to take and just sweep up a little bit to give the indication of trees in the distance. Take and pull right up, just pull up. Tap the color on, pull up, just pull up. You can do a multitude of things, whatever you feel comfortable with. Sometimes you got to apply the paint just to pull up on it. And I have some jettisons here. I keep calling them jettisons. I don't think that's the right word. Little parts that jet out or dart out. So again, English is my first language, but you can't tell. Like that with a little bit of green getting bigger as I come towards the front of the painting. Let's see what that looks like. That yeah, definitely looks like something. What is to be decided by somebody else? Let's see. A little more. Getting a little darker as I come forward. Sorry, once again, I'm probably blocking the view. I'm just going to pull up on it, make little indications of trees. Before I pull that mountain down in front of it, we can have him go up the slope here. Bring that part forward a little bit. Have him go right up the slope here. It's going to be a beautiful day outside. 
take a walk. And enjoy nature a little bit today. It's beautiful out. It rained all day yesterday. Okay, to do the same thing here that I just did over there. There's a little bit of a shoreline coming down. It's kind of cool actually. Let's see. All right, that is turning out better than I thought it would. So let's clean off the paintbrush again. I like that. I'm starting to change up my brushes I go through too. I told you guys what brushes to, to bring in. I'm not even using them. But this is uh, my quarter inch flat brush. I'm going to go here and make sure I get these tops of these mountains nice and distinct. Bring it right down in front of this one. Get a little bit more of that color on the mountain. Put it in here. I cover up this cloud a little bit because it's mixing with the white. And I want this backside to be darker than what it is. There we go, that's a little better. A little bit of a peak there. Make sure I get that right. What we're doing is we're going to put a, little, a, a mountain, a, little, a, little, a mountain in front of the other mountain. Maybe pull up here, maybe already make some indications of trees on this mountain. Who knows? Once again, I don't know what I'm going to paint. It's coming out as I come. Coming out as it comes, excuse me. I might also put some mist around the edge of this one. So, set my palette down again. Hopefully they won't fall too. <laughs> that was a hell of a whoopsie there in a minute ago. Let's see, let's pull all this off. So when I apply my highlights, it's not so obvious that I didn't know what I was doing. Let's take the same highlight color I was using. Let's brighten it up a little bit more. As you come forward, a little more detail, a little more intense. Let's go ahead and take this. One more white. I like painting mountains. It's just very fun. I don't know. It's, it's simple. It's hard too. Don't get me wrong, but it's also simple. And I don't know. I just love the way it's just, I don't know. It's so much fun. I, I can't explain it. And I always seem to like see something in them that I could have done better. Of course, and something in them that I've done better in the past and you go oh what did I do there and I don't know I just I just really enjoy them I'm gonna put a little white on top of this to make it pop a little bit more make sure you observe the angles once again I always say that but it's important to remember okay we're gonna take the same color that was your shoes in. Put a little bit of blue in it. 
a little more intense than before. Cut off a little bit and excuse my elbow, but I have to get up here to get this the way I want it to look. Some in here. It's a little weird, I don't know why, it's just the way I see it. Okay. Take a look at that. See if we can bring this cloud to the front again. I'm gonna take the brush I had, still got paint on it. And we're going to try to mystify this one too. Why not? All right. Tap out the bottom of this a little bit. this video already oh over an hour already Ooh. oh Tom we're getting there though we're getting there where doesn't matter there can make a jettison here it comes out I don't think that's the right word but I'm gonna keep using it for continuity reasons little boulder here it's your tree line go ahead and get it into I applied it then I denied it sorry fart joke I'm gonna rub out the bottom of these trees lines a little too straight for me here I'm gonna go ahead and break that up a little bit The land come down here. All right. I should do the same on the other side too. Have a piece of land come out here. Try to maintain this perspective as much as possible. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, I don't like the way that looks. Once again, I'm probably in the way, especially when I come to the right side. But I'm sorry, guys. I gotta get, I gotta at least make it look good. Go ahead and let me get some yellow. <clears throat> I don't have any yellow. Oh, 
What is that one? Oh, I got lucky. I could take it off with one hand. So I got a little bit of cad yellow. I'll pop it onto my palette here. And then I'm going to take this color that I've been using and a little bit of green. And I'm going to highlight some of these some of these trees here, just a little bit. You don't want to do it too much because it is nighttime. Let's see if you can see it right. Is that cad yellow that I put on there? Cad and yellow. All right, a little different looking. I'm used to. Just a few. Not too much because then it won't look right. The same on this side. Do that real quick while I'm thinking of it. Take a knife, I'm gonna rub in a little bit of a water line through here. Let's go back here first. And that's way too, way too dark, way too white. It's funny, even though I knew it would be, I still did it. Who knows, maybe it'll be snow there. What do I know? Put so much there. Let's see if I can get that off of there. Where in the hell? Where did that go? That's in my hand. Let's see if I can take some of that off of there. And take a clean brush. This is a test. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Grab some blue. That's pretty damn cool. <laughs> See, sometimes accidents will happen and you'll just, it'll end up being the painting itself. That turned out better than it. Shit, what initially painted, that's crazy. It's my opinion, of course. I'm sure you guys may think something different, but it's my painting too, so yeah, I'm happy with it. It's gonna go back through with a brush anyway. Let's do the same thing here. And try that again. Now that might be one of those instances where I was telling you where a mistake becomes an advantage. That might be my new way of doing these. Cool, because it kind of subdues it a little bit. Ain't that some shit? Let's go ahead and put a little bit of more white here to give it the same effect. Hmm. 
Look at that. Damn. Pretty cool. Pretty dang on cool, if you ask me, fella. All right. I'm a corny guy. Deal with it. Now what are we gonna do? That is the question. Man, after doing that, I think I don't wanna mess with the painting. Holy crap. Holy shit balls, Batman. Um, shit, maybe I throw another big mountain here in the front. I don't know, but good question. Now I don't know what to do. I'm gonna make a jettison a line come out here. That sounds, that, that sounds a little bit interesting to me. Let's go ahead and, where is that? palette knife. Let's go ahead and take and get some Van Dyke Brown. Some of this dark color I've been making. Get some of that blue. And make a nice pile of dark. And let's go ahead and let's get a one inch brush. Gives me a little more control in a different way. Tap it on. Go ahead and come over this don't be afraid. We're in this together, remember? Let's go ahead and get some... Some stuff sticking up in there. Fix most of that rattling situation, finally. All right, do something interesting here too. Let's take this brush, and tap the bottom of that. what I'm going to plan for this side. Let me step back and take a look You see. You know what? I might just keep it like that and then fade this off into oblivion. I'm going to put a, maybe another layer down here in front of it. Let's go ahead and make some highlight colors. What do I, what do, I want to do highlight colors? Yeah, we'll highlight this one just. And excuse me, I might have just stepped on the camera. All right, let's get some yellow. Some green, get a little bit of blue. Let's go ahead and highlight some of this. See it? I think we get a different yellow. I really like that yellow for some reason. Something is different in my eyes with it. A different yellow somehow I got a different one. Let's grab this one. This one I know. It's like an old friend. I know ya. A little bit of this blue. Ah yes, much better. I think some bushes coming down the side of this hill that I put in the front. <clears throat> it's a little too bright. Go back through and touch it a little bit. That helps. Okay, that's cool. 
cool little trick I'm about to do. This is going to be this one I know how to do well, so let's go ahead and do that one. Finally, Tom, something that you know how to do. Well, we'll see if I can find a brush to do it with. I guess, am I using them all? I guess I am. This one, I'll just clean it. Set this down. We're gonna go ahead and just tap this one. I got a little bit of white paint on here. I'm gonna make a misty area. Painted that I wanted on it, but whatever, we'll make it work. Brush. Let's go ahead and get my dark brush again. Let's add a little more brown and blue in this. Let's make it really dark. Just mixing off the camera again. Maybe one of these days I'll get that. Maybe one day I'll understand that you guys need to see what I'm doing. So in the midst, we're going to add some trees. Have one coming up into this one a little bit. Just adding some layers here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do something over here too. Let's, let's go ahead and figure that out real quick too, because this I understand. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, I even know I annoy myself sometimes. Let's go ahead and put some more trees in. a little darker I'm just pulling out the bottom of this tree line. Just a little bit of a chaos here. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Just gonna pull out the bottom of the tree line a little bit. Make a dark little rolling hill there. Why not? Let's go ahead and take and let's make a little bit of grass through here. Okay. 
Hope you guys are enjoying this. For me, it's a journey as well. So it's like, I don't know what's going on exactly, but I'm using the little techniques that I remember. <laughs> and as I go, I just kind of do them. As it comes closer to you. You want it to get bigger and bolder. That's cool. There we go. Let's go ahead and have this. Let's go ahead and have this just drop off in some obscurity. Maybe I can put another layer of mist in there. That would be that would be pretty good, I think. Like you're kind of high up and you're looking out over this valley. It could be kind of a cool effect. Use it a little bit. Go up in here a little bit. I'm going to fuse the rest of it once I put the highlights on. Let's go ahead and put. Let's see. How am I going to do that? Let's go ahead and take the liner brush. Sorry, I'm always searching for it. Take a drink of coffee too. I'm getting thirsty. Let's go into some pure white. A little bit of paint thinner. Turn it. Let's go ahead and get some sticks going on here. A bit of a tree. Go wild with this. Have fun. This one, this is going to be fun. This is one of my favorite parts. It's putting in sticks. <laughs> and branches. Highlighter, one inch brush, wherever I put that down at. I don't know, I can't find it. <clears throat> did, I, did I use one? No, I used this. I'm sorry. I lied. I used a different color. Get a little white in there, just brighten it up a little bit more. I'm going to come back through and hide. Let me, let's see how this works. Alright, that's pretty good. Don't just randomly put these on here too. Try to think about what you're going to do. Leave some dark spots in.
All right, let's get back to my blue tapping brush. Mystify it. Get another layer of darkness going on here. Do some more white actually. To be honest, what you're getting a little lighter here. Just really get the mist going here. Diffuse, 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 diffuse. the dark mixing all the good darks I have all on there trying to get a very dark here at the front I don't know if you'll be able to notice it even I don't even know it but it don't matter Back to the liner brush and some white again. Let's go ahead and make some more sticks and tweaks. Have an idea. A little bit of a bold one, but I'm gonna take some white and go ahead and take and pop in a big tree here. It's gonna make this nice and pointy first. I'm a little afraid, guys. Should put some brown in it too.
Okay. Liner brush, liner brush. Putting some details here in the front, what I'm trying to do is bring this front forward, leaving that much more. Just see, <clears throat> just going, just doing a little bit of the experiment actually. I know it's a long video, guys, uh, but maybe you'd like it. I mean, it's all maybe, maybe you'll paint along with me next time, and you'll see that sometimes you just got to try stuff. I'm trying to put a little bit of. That's pretty cool. So, how many times I'm going to say that's pretty cool? Well, if eventually I'm sure I'll reach, reach my optimal limit on that word. And we'll go back to here first. squiggly line there. It's going to put some more details and definition on that thing. It looks weird. All right. Good. All right. Let's take one more look. Yeah, it did bump the camera. It's a little off centered. Yeah, sorry about that. I think you can still see everything though. Okay. I think we'll call that a finished painting. Let's go ahead and get some, a little more of that white and sign the name on the bottom. Whistle while you work. It's not work. It's a lot of fun. And it's been a lot of fun. Thanks for having me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you around. Thank you.